Global mobility is, is a lot of things, uh, but at the core, it's moving people from one country to the other and helping them grow, whether it's in their careers or as a person experiencing a whole other culture uh, and, and growing professionally and personally. I think it's understanding the, the work-life balance of employees. I think since COVID, there's been that demand there from um, everybody working as a work-life balance. So people want to work, but they also want to be able to juggle family life. And so it's all about, you know, making sure that you accommodate like the employee needs. Um, simple little things that we can we can do to enhance people's working, you know, particularly from a mobility perspective, you know, they're doing a, a huge thing where potentially they are moving to a, the other side of the world. Um, and it might only be temporary or it could be permanent, but, you know, that is a big job. So I think it's understanding that need and, and taking all those things into consideration. They're going to be doing a lot of traveling. They're going to be doing a lot of potentially looking at different houses, you know, and they're, they're still trying to figure that out while still having their job as well. So I think from a global mobility perspective, it's about trying to understand those needs, be a bit encouraging and try and allow the employee to juggle that, that work balance whilst you know, move it. With global mobility, I actually th take well-being into consideration when developing the policies and providing guidance to the employees and also their their families. Uh, the reality is, like looking at it from a total program perspective, there's opportunities to make sure that well-being is being considered for support programs, health and wellness services, family assistance, financial and tax support, and flexible work arrangements. Um, you know, this may sound expensive, but we're already doing most of these things for our employees. So I encourage companies to, to look at what's already being provided. Uh, so from, a, from an example, from that perspective, we, you know, offer employee assistance programs. What's provided in the employee assistance programs, uh, we often focus on the health and wellness piece to it, but there's also support systems for schools, for school uh, choosing education programs for your children, there's finance programs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so the other thing that, you know, with the pandemic that we really leaned into was the health and wellness. Um, we were really very closely analyzing our travel, our business travel programs and things of that sort. And we determined that it wasn't sufficient during the pandemic. So being mindful of when you actually need to enhance uh, programs and benefits because of what's going on in the outside world. Um, and, but family assistance and things of that sort with um, with uh, providing you know spousal support and things of that sort, something else that could include some additional finance requirements, but it could also be a um, make it or break it for an individual to take an assignment. So using the, those wellness um, goals that you may have internally, as well as looking at it from the perspective of how that could really support the, the employee, I think it is, is very significant. I think offering support for family members in our re relocation policies is critical here, such as offering spousal support, home finding, school search support, these types of benefits are really going to help the family integrate into their new community and really ease in the transition to any new location. Mobility has an obligation to take care of our employees. Um, when it comes to the, the changes that are happening around the world, whether they're socioeconomic, political, weather-related, financial, employee well-being has to be paramount. And so I think it's up to companies to ensure that we've designed safety and security plans to inform and communicate with our employees. It's important that we're checking in with our, our global employees to ensure that their mental health is in check and to provide support and resources for anyone who may need additional support. Um, this key element really around diversity, equity, and inclusion really should provide mobility experts with the opportunity to focus on that well-being 
and assure that we're we're checking in and that we're aware of, of how our employees are feeling while they're on global assignments because not only changing your individual lives so significantly plus the lives of your families um, it can really it can really result in some challenges that they face and being a forward-facing team with direct contact with your employees will ensure that they have a positive well-being experience so here it will be about the, the, the client satisfaction that we're looking at, um, the, the, the employee experience. Uh, what we can impact and, and how we, we need to impact is to have um, uh, something that is less of, a, less of an issue for, for, for the assignee and, and the family. Most of the time when we're dealing and, and this has been changing because the family structure has been changing around the world but now we're pretty much focused and, and we know that the, the person that is moving it, it also has this importance of their family in the in, in the back of their heads or probably in the front of the heads and and sometimes some uh, some as, some some assignments are, are not successful because of that so it's really important to consider that uh, the employee experience including family experience is, is one of the things that we, we will be measured on um, uh, and, and if we don't keep that in mind, uh, we are going. We're most likely we are going to have a lot of issues with with our mobility program. I basically think that global mobility has to anticipate the the cultural differences in in uh, when moving assignees and anticipating. Uh, uh, the way they would feel when they enter there or when they come to their uh, destinations, including the family members. And this would be including also any cultural offers that the country might have. So the, the, the cultural events, to sports, uh, to um, basically language courses or anything that has to do with, with uh, something that happens off the, the work hours, uh, basically, um, and in, in, their, in their free time. Uh, so because they're not machines, they're not robots, um, they're people and they're moving with their families and we need to anticipate that they will be uh, feeling well when they come here. Moving state or country is a major life event um, that doesn't necessarily have a neat and consistent pathway across all employees. So it's important to remember that the first priority is the psychological and physical well-being of their employee and their family and by providing them with these sorts of opportunities can definitely add to that. So global mobility to the business is an area of opportunity for expansion of the company. So a lot of companies like to expand their business into new countries and global mobility plays a critical role in that expansion. There's also um, an opportunity for global mobility to be seen by the business as a partner in strategic development of their employees across the world. Global mobility to the business I think really helps as more of like an HR service if you will, I feel like that's how most companies see it. And by that, I mean that it really is a people um, group, meaning that it is supporting, you know, the people and the team in order to uh, either help with an immigration case or help with a relocation case. Um, and so it's really an adjunct. I think the differences that have happened over time is that global mobility partners have become more partners and less um, just, you know, individual, um, you know, service things that happen as they go. I think over time, it's really become more strategic and every company has a different, um, you know, a package that they give people. And that's valuable to the company because that brings new great hires into that company and then supports the people that are already there. So I think, um, you know, it, it is a really a people-centered um, um, specialty.